Hello YouTube, this is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a car game in Blender. Um, basically this is just showing you how to make a uh, suspension for your car. So uh, this is considering you already have a model made up, a car model. This is the one I'm going to be using. The uh, scripts we're going to be using are provided by tutorialsforblender3d.com. Go check them out. Really cool website with a lot of Blender tutorials. Uh, in text. So, um, seeing as we have our car, we're going to add some tires. These will just be cylinders. We're going to use, uh, go ahead and use eight vertices. Um, enter edit mode and scale it down to make it more, you know, tire shaped. Okay. And so, what I'm going to do, stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to name this guy tire uh, underscore. FL for front left. So then we're going to duplicate this guy three times so that we have four tires. This guy, the next one, is going to be named tire FR for front right. Next one, tire RL for uh, rear left. And the last one, tire RR for right rear. So Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our first script. So add a new window there. Go to the text editor. Hit new. Uh, text open text block. This is where you'll open your script. Um, I have mine on the desktop. So the first one we're going to do is the setup.py. So this is what that looks like. I'm going to stretch this up a little bit and turn this bottom window into the logic editor window. With the car selected, oh, I already have it set up a bit. I'm just going to remove all of these logic bricks really quickly. Just so I can show you guys from start to finish. So, in the first layer, these are the uh, state bricks. You get them by hitting this little plus icon right here. So what we're going to do in the first layer is add an always sensor. We're going to add a AND controller as well as a Python controller. Wire the always sensor into both of those and this Python controller is going to run car setup.py. Now mine has this .001 because I have two car setup.py scripts. Um, so I will actually just delete these extra scripts here real quick. Okay, and then we're going to add a state actuator. So we're going to wire the AND controller into the state actuator, and we're going to click on the second state. So we've got that second state set. So now we're going to go into the second state. We're going to add another always sensor. We're going to add a AND controller and a Python controller. Wire the always sensor into both controllers. Add a state actuator again and this time we're going to set it to the third state at this point we need to open our second script so we're going to do open text block and this time we are going to open the suspension.py script and we're going to set that in the Python controller then so then go to the third state and this is the one that's going to require a lot more sensors most of them, or all of them, are going to be keyboard sensors. So the first keyboard sensor, we're going to have W and turn pulse on. Make sure you do that for every one of them. Turn on, uh, do the key, turn on pulse. And W is going to be named gas, for like gas pedal. And be sure to capitalize, um, because Python is case sensitive. So you're going to need to make sure those are spelled correctly. And if this doesn't work, the first thing you should check is all of the spelling. So the next one will be break, and this one will be S. Turn on pulse. Another keyboard. This one will be left. Turn on pulse. This will be A. Keyboard sensor right. This will be D. Turn on pulse. Add another keyboard sensor. This one will be named 
e-brake. Take note that the E and the B are capitalized there. This one will be spacebar and pulse. And add, I believe this is the last one. Yeah. The last one, named reverse, this one will be left shift, turn on pulse. So then we're going to add a controller. This one will be a Python controller and wire all of these sensors into that same controller. Okay, and at this point we need to open up our last text block. This one will be powertrain.py and link that up into that controller. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the car setup script and we're going to scroll down until we see where it tells it what the tires are named. So you see here it's um, asking what all the tires are named. So we named ours tire underscore and then the position. So the front driver's side will be FL, then tire underscore FR for the driver passenger, and tire underscore uh, RL for the rear drivers, and tire underscore RR for the right rear. So now if we hit play, it kind of hovers and jolts a little bit and that's because all of our tires are still static so we need to switch them to be ghosts so we need to go up here and select blender game if you haven't already so instead of static set no collision so do this for all of the tires set all of them to no collision with the car uh, it's already a rigid body if it if you don't have it as rigid body set it to rigid body uh, turn on actor, turn on no sleeping, and put the collision bounds on convex hull. So now if we hit P, you see it falls, all of the tires are sideways. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it easier on ourselves by linking all of these tires meshes together. So we're going to shift, select all four tires, hit control L, and do object data. So now whenever we change one of these tires in edit mode, it changes all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all the vertices in edit mode and we're going to rotate on the y-axis by 90 degrees. So now if we hit play, all of them are correct. So let's add something in so the car doesn't fall forever. So let's add shift mesh, or shift A mesh plane. Now whenever we hit play, it kind of settles down right on top of that uh, plane. But all of these tires are in really uh, weird positions, and they are a little big. So let's scale. Let's scale them down a little bit. Okay. So in the car setup script, we have the tire positions right here. Special note for the uh, vehicle wrapper: always keep the Z value at zero. If you go up or down, sometimes if you have a hard landing with the car in the game, the tires will sink through the floor and uh, that's not good. I found that that's the best way to fix it is to leave these at zero. So these are all in X, Y, Z coordinates. So Y is forward and back and X is left and right. So let's adjust the X values first because those will all be the same. So let's try changing all of the X values down to two. Okay, not nearly enough. Oh, that's changing. I'm sorry. That's changing Y. 2 is... Uh, uh, it's probably going to be 1.5. So let's go... Now change the X down to 1. I'm sorry. And so now it looks like they're... Actually, that may be about right as far as X goes. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So for the Y, I'm going to try 1.5. These all should be generally the same. but And that looks good. So now you'll notice the car is kind of hovering above the ground. That's because the tires uh, believe they're bigger than they actually are. So that's the next step here is tire radius. We're going to adjust that until the tires just touch the ground. P and it looks like they may still be just a little bit above and yes they are so let's try point 0.4 
that looks better. They may still be a little bit above, but you know, that's fine. Okay, so there's a few other things you can change here, such as suspension height. You know, if you wanted it to be a really high rider. So you see, that's like, you know, monster truck setting right now. Um, oh, and if you did everything right, you should be able to drive it around right away. So you see right now, this is with the suspension height really high up. Um, but I don't want that, so I'll just adjust that back down. Okay. Um, so another thing in the uh, suspension.py script, this is another part of the setup. Here are the... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The uh, first thing you can change is the grip. So you can adjust how much grip each of the tires will have. The... Uh, compression. I'm not sure exactly what this does. Um, from what I understand, it is how soon the car, how soon the car's suspension slows it down. <coughs> I always like to put this down at about one or so. So you see it kind of sinks down in. Um, all of these are adjustable to a personal preference. Same with the damp the damping that changes how fast the car will settle so you see there it added a little bounce but if I have this up at 10 it's going to hit and then it's going to straighten out really soon without bouncing I like having lots of bouncing now of course you can have uh, stiffness so you can adjust the stiffness to make the suspension rock solid or super soft low riding. There you go. So you, you can adjust that to wherever you want it. The roll, that sets how soon the car will roll over. If you take a really fast turn, um, that changes how soon the car is going to roll over. So a higher number will make it roll sooner. So see if I can get it. To, there it got, got started there. So if I get sharp enough of a turn, it'll actually roll over so you know okay and the last script the powertrain.py this is where you set up um, well the powertrain so you can set how much um, so you can set uh, how much braking you have here with the brake and e-brake amount scroll down a little farther here we've got reverse power and power gas power so you can change the amount of power that the engine has oh, I've broken it ah that's it okay so you can adjust how much power the engine has to an insane amount rocket powered Uh, sports car mode and grandma car wow okay um you can also change the amount that it steers so you can make it turn sharper or turn not at all oh no you can't turn drag car mode okay so that's pretty much it that's going to get you started on your way to a car making a car game um, this is you know how to get suspension going anyway with your car and get it driving around um, so this has been how to make a car game in blender uh, I'm guessing this is part one I'll probably make a few more tutorials such as uh, racing AI that sort of thing if I uh, can figure out a super efficient way of doing that Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is QAZWSX2541.